This is Lloyd from High Energy. Um, we've interacted a fair bit on the on the internet. He's just shown me some of his his fluorite, and uh, obviously from an undisclosed location. We won't say where, but just some looks like gypsum, like Beautiful you know, gypsum, yeah. yeah. Is it is this all from this particular spot right now it's that we're standing this at? Spot, yeah, this I found basically under our feet. So this is probably the Lockport Dollar Stone. I can't be positive, but this is. As I say, it's, it's his secret location. It's been bought here, obviously, and dumped, used as part of the drainage of uh, the drainage system for this particular stream that we're actually coming to check out. Okay, we're, we're heading up, um, we're just heading up this dry stream bed. Uh, interesting looking sinkhole he's got a video on it so you want to check it out at this particular spot as you can see right now there's the address check out his video and this is kind of what put me onto it and uh, as I say he's a mineral collector and obviously a person who's interested in karst as well this is man-made it has a metal pipe coming through oh we're down down right beneath here, actually. if you look down in here this is a large metal pipe oh I see what so you're I saying somebody put this in here it's been washed or yeah dropped in there or right? dropped in there I believe this is also man-made so this is where the water goes down right it seemed to go under the ground here mm -hmm. now so I can feel a bit of a breeze and uh, well, yep yeah, a cool breeze and you can see it goes back that way this could well be a dig depends how much it's been clogged by the farmers runoff right, right. Well, there's brick debris in there and some yeah. other uh, man-made debris down here underneath it. Yeah, which I dropped when I pulled it to the and I scattered it. So we're just following along the joint here because, uh, as I say, it looks like there's some open space heading along the joint back, which we maybe call upstream. And uh, Lloyd has found a coyote den. So here we are, more of it. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. And you have the traffic area here. We can tell there's something's coming in and out. So you can see underneath here, it gets uh, quite a bit bigger than, than the downer, the area a little further along that we were first looking at. Oh, does it? So we were just talking about, um, you know, how many people you actually meet on the internet through this kind of thing. And I'm, I met Lloyd, there's Branco, there's Rubber Chicken. Yeah, Wolfman, there's so many people we met on. We, we kind of got a thing where we now exchange information for, you know, minerals and caves and stuff like that. Here's the wife, she came with me. Uh, fortunately, we still have her because one week ago she had a heart attack, hence the uh, cutting short of the Bancroft trip where we were intending to visit Quadville and Two Dog Cave. Not these two dogs, someone else's two dogs. So you can still see the hospital band. She's absolutely covered in bruises. Bruises, let's see the other arm. Yeah, so life lessons learned here from both of us. Maggie's just told me about a joint that's behind the parking lot where she was waiting. Behind me? She said she almost lost uh, Durban right there. Let's have a look. Where is this trench? I'm having a problem finding this. This is kind of deep. So even though this is not the, the source of the rock, it's being dumped here. So I'm sure there's plenty of other places around Hamilton where you will find similar sets of things where the, the, the rock that's being dumped has the minerals in it. So interesting way to collect. 